Margie Rich, and David Van Horn. Chloe came into my office. She was really angry. She was 16 years old and seven months pregnant, and her stepdad had just given her a two-month warning. She had to be out of their house before the baby was born. She, um, Chloe, over the next couple of years, came into my office a lot. She and I would talk. We talked about her baby. We talked about her plans after graduation, her hopes and dreams. And over those same two years, Chloe went from house to house. Sometimes she was living in her abusive boyfriend's home. Sometimes she would couch surf with her baby at a friend's house. Sometimes she would be with her grandma out of town. I'm going to tell you about another kid in our community who had been in foster care. He lived in four different homes in four different towns during his four years in high school. On graduation day, his family dropped him off early to the ceremony, and they left to run errands, planning to return before he crossed the stage to accept his diploma. He proudly accepted his diploma alongside his classmates and exited the auditorium looking for his foster family. Turns out they went to Oak Rapids for the day and missed his graduation. Shortly after, exiting high school and leaving his foster family, moving between friends' houses, the Goodwill shelter, and even his own apartment, housing continued to be a struggle for him, even while maintaining two jobs. 450, that's the amount of youth who live on their own without a regular place to sleep at night. They may be in an abandoned building, on friends' couches, in a park, or in and out of the foster care system like me. 450 youth in our area. That's 450 too many. And I think we owe it to them to get that number down to zero. These kids are not delinquents. These kids come from often really abusive families, families where there's been neglect. They may have a parent that's a drug addict. Sometimes their own parents are themselves homeless and they have nowhere that they can live. In January of this year, our area, the five county area, received a grant to look at just this problem. In fact, we were one of only four areas in the whole country to get this grant. And now, it's, up, uh, it's your chance to tell us what we need to do. Over the next two months, we're going to be going out into the community and having forums, having conversations with individuals and groups, asking for creative ideas on what we can do to move our youth into homes. If we can come back in May, we'll share with you some of the things that we've learned and how we're going to move our children from the streets and into houses. Thank you.